All right, everyone, thank you all for joining. We're actually gonna uh, go ahead and get started. Uh, this session is being recorded today. Wanna make sure we're able to share it out with anyone who isn't able to join. Um, again, welcome. I thank you all for joining us. My name is Demetra Brown. I'm actually the senior program manager here with Promise. And we're just ecstatic to spend the next hour with you all. But before we get started, we'd love to know who we actually have joining us today. So if you could do me a favor, drop your name in the chat, share your organization, where you're based. We'd love to just get a feel for who's here with us today. All right, we have uh, someone trying to troubleshoot tech. Awesome, let us know if we can be of help, Rachel. Hi, Allie. All right, Rick. Awesome, awesome. North Carolina, okay, Virginia. We have a great mix here. Okay, so today I'm going to go ahead and jump in. I want to make sure we're making the, the most of our time together, but we'll be spending uh, the majority of this time providing you all with a behind the scenes look at how you can craft a strong application for the Promising Ventures Fellowship and how the Promise team evaluates ventures for our fellowship program. Uh, just a heads up, we won't get to review every component of the application. However, our goal is to provide a few great tips uh, to help you in the process. And we're excited to share that today's session will be interactive with time to workshop and practice crafting responses. So here's what you can expect for today. And let's make sure you all can see our agenda. All right, everyone, you should be able to see the agenda. So here's what you can expect. First, we'll be providing a quick overview of the fellowship program. Uh, this will look somewhat familiar to those of you who attended our last info session, but we wanted to make sure that everyone has a deep understanding of what our fellowship offers. Uh, next, we'll review key components of the fellowship application, and then we'll get into workshopping and actually reviewing a few application questions together. And we'll have guidance and support from peers, as well as a few of our Promise Fellowship coaches. This will be a great opportunity to really share how you're approaching your responses to the application and get feedback. Uh, we'll get into the breakout sessions for this segment of our time together. Uh, lastly, we'll finish up today by reviewing the evaluation criteria, giving you an inside look at that, and then also having time for Q&A. So throughout the session today, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. Uh, my partners, Laura and Melissa, are monitoring that and are happy to answer any questions as we go through. So I'd like to start with just giving a little background on Promise uh, before we dive in to ensure that everyone on the call knows who we are and what we do. So Promise is a nonprofit venture studio uh, that supports innovators and accelerates innovations for equity in the early childhood development space. Our vision is to see a world where all children, no matter their background, can fulfill their innate promise. How we intend to see that vision through is by making the goal of achieving equity, our collective focus, our North Star, and our definition of impact. All right, let's go over the fellowship program. So for this section, I'm gonna be turning it over to my amazing colleague, associate partner, Laura Patterson. Thanks so much, Demetra. Uh, before I get started, if you missed our last session and are still assessing if the fellowship is a good fit for your venture, I recommend watching our previous event entitled, Is the Promising Ventures Fellowship Right for Me? I'll have one of my colleagues drop the link to the recording in the chat. That said, don't uh, stay on the line. Don't leave us to watch that video. We have some pretty insightful information in store for you here today as well. So back to our regularly scheduled programming. At Promise, we provide our highest level of support through our Promising Ventures Fellowship Program, a no-cost accelerator program for a small number of ventures that are poised to make great strides in their scale and their impact. We know that entrepreneurship is hard and it's especially hard in early childhood. In this fellowship, we help organizations overcome the barriers they are facing and make substantial and sometimes dramatic progress towards their growth and impact goals. All right, so uh, on this slide, you'll see members of our team and our uh, team is a dynamic one uh, that is comprised of uh, coaches that are all mission-driven entrepreneurs with experience spanning early childhood, education, social impact, and so much more. 
I think I can speak for the whole of our team when I say that we're excited to facilitate a great program for this year's ventures. And speaking of that program, let's quickly run through the four key pillars of our fellowship program, what we here at Promise refer to as the Promising Ventures Fellowship Jigsaw Puzzle. Uh, so the jigsaw puzzles you see on this screen are a visual representation of the main components of our fellowship program. Let's quickly walk through each of these pieces. First up, uh, you'll see the cyan piece. Uh, it is our first piece in the puzzle, and it is all about individualized coaching and strategic advising. This is how we provide direct uh, customized support to each venture. You'll be assigned two coaches from uh, across the, the Promise team who will meet with you regularly to work on your specific goals. Second up, uh, there's a supportive peer community. Our past fellows have valued the fellowship community so much. They've given and received crucial support and advice from each other. And many of our fellows have ended up partnering with each other. The third piece to the fellowship puzzle is our senior leadership development. We offer a lightweight personalized program to nurture the leadership capacity of the entrepreneurs in the fellowship. Through this offering, fellows meet in facilitated small groups to build their problem solving muscle. And we call this experience our adaptive learning huddles. Lastly, uh, the fourth uh, piece of our puzzle is all about targeted introductions and connections. This is where we and um, our team here at Promise will leverage our extensive networks to introduce fellows to contacts who can help them achieve their goals. And we also help you expand your network through a guaranteed spot and a future show and tell event, show and tell being our event show demo event series. Uh, before I hand the microphone back over to Demetra, I also wanted to call out that new for this year, we are going to be offering two tracks in the fellowship. The first of our two tracks, the Early Innovations track, is for new or established teams looking to develop a prototype for a new offering and pilot their idea with users. Ventures in this track will work closely with our coaches to make sure that they have the tools and the infrastructure in place to meet pilot readiness during or by the end of the fellowship. Our second track is the Growth and Scaling track. For this track, our focus is to support your venture in moving towards realizing social impact at scale. Our coaches will work with your venture to identify and right size your goals for the fellowship, and then we'll partner with you to achieve those goals. If you are uncertain uh, which track you should apply for, and we've heard uh, several questions about this through our office hours, keep in mind that you can choose to apply to either or both tracks in your application. Our team of reviewers will work to make sure that your ventures are slotted in the right track. All right, that's it for me. I'll turn it back over to Demetra as we begin our deep dive into the fellowship application. Thank you so much, Laura, for that overview. Everyone, I'm seeing a lot of activity in the chat and we appreciate that. Keep that going. Again, we do have partners there to answer your questions. Um, so I'm excited to chat with you all about the fellowship application, which we are hoping will be an illuminating experience for you and your teams. I want to ground this portion of our time together by sharing our goal for the fellowship application. It is our objective to learn more about your venture, your team, and how Promise can help you progress towards your goals. So here's what you can expect in the application. The application is comprised of three types of questions, general venture and team questions, short essay questions, and video questions. The general questions tell us what your venture is, who you support, and where you operate. Short essay questions provide a space for narrative and help us understand how you think about impact and your approach. Video questions are an opportunity for you to showcase your team and share what makes you all exemplars in your problem space. For our time today, we will focus on short essay questions and video questions. Our goal is to not share a model response for you to aim towards, but but to provide context on how to approach your responses. We'll start with video questions because we know these some, can sometimes be a source of anxiety. So we have two video questions in the application. Both are equally important. However, given our time constraints, we're going to focus on just one video question for the purpose of today's workshop. Before we get to that question, I want to share the theme for a successful promise video submission. Keep it simple and be yourselves. Approach these videos as if you were talking with us in a Zoom call from your phone or laptop. Your video doesn't have to be scripted or edited. 
We want to hear from you and members of your team about your venture directly. So avoid using graphics, presentation slides, music, or otherwise overproducing the video. So let's discuss your fellowship why. This is the application question and this is how it reads. Why are you applying for the Promise Venture Fellowship? Please be specific in sharing the type of support you would be looking for. So in four minutes or less, we're hoping to learn your rationale for participating in the fellowship program. You can accomplish this by clearly sharing why now is the right time for you to participate in the program and what types of supports you are seeking. The objective is the video of the video is not to craft a perfect response. Instead, Venture should focus on helping our team understand your thinking for applying to the fellowship. Our goal is to assess fellowship fit. So don't be afraid to align your fellowship with why, with what promise brings to the table. So a strong response to this question will leave our evaluators clearly understanding how you intend to leverage the knowledge, expertise, and connections provided by promise. So for those of you who joined a little late, at the top of this call, we shared that this is gonna be an interactive session. So now we actually wanna to get to some practice. Uh, so we'll now we'll go into breakout rooms of two individuals per group and do some peer-to-peer -peer practice. When in your groups with your peer, we want you to take 30 seconds and just briefly introduce yourselves and share your name and organization, as well as what you do. Also take a moment to reflect on the question, which is shown on the slide to your left. Then share your response in two minutes and then take a minute to receive feedback from your peer. When giving peer feedback, follow this general rule. Feedback should be constructive and include a compliment or suggestion. We've also put all these directions from the slide into a Google Doc. Uh, please feel free to drop uh, that link in the chat for the Promise team. And then also those of you who will be participating, you can also grab that link. It is a viewable document. So we will now begin assigning you to breakout rooms. Hi everyone, welcome back. We should have everyone joining us back here in the main room. Awesome, so welcome back everyone. We'll give you all a, a check in to recalibrate here. I hope that was an enlightening activity um, and a little bit of a glimpse of how to practice that video question around your fellowship why. Again, that's such an important question because it helps us really feed into determining the fellowship fit for your venture. So now let's transition and start to talk about short essay questions. So I'll take you through three short essay questions. And we're gonna think especially about the ones that we believe are relatively important given what we're going to be assessing in regards to fellowship fit, as well as the baseline qualifications for the program. We're gonna review the following questions. Questions around social impact at scale, the problem and solution alignment question, as well as the traction question. These questions will be used as prompts for our breakout room session a little later where there'll be an opportunity for a few of you to share your response or ask questions. First, we'll start with some general guidance. For our short essay questions, we do not have a word limit, though we find most responses can be expressed in 200 words or less. We don't want you to feel pressured to stay under a specific word limit. However, we do look for concise and clear responses. Short essay questions throughout the fellowship application are an important opportunity for you to express what you hope to gain from participating in the fellowship. Also, you should share details about your business model and impact model, as, as well as express your achievements to date. So use the short essay questions to communicate openly and honestly about what your venture is doing, what success might look like moving forward, and why your team is best equipped for the job. We're looking to understand how Promise can help and how the fellowship can accelerate your venture. So let's walk through those questions. For our first prompt, we define social impact at scale is your ability to achieve impact in a way that is cost effective and reaches as many people as possible. With this question in mind, we want to understand how do you see your venture having or supporting social impact at scale? What are the current barriers to your future and to your venture realizing social impact at scale? So let's break down this phrase a bit more, social impact at scale. So social impact at scale involves blending your impact model as well as your growth model to achieve impact at scale. It's an understanding of the tools and the processes you use to achieve more equitable outcomes for all children in a manner that is cost effective and reaches the largest amount of beneficiaries. When informing us of how you plan to achieve social impact at scale, we'd like for you to consider the following. 
first, who is your target population? Who is most acutely affected by the problem you are seeking to solve? Secondly, what is your theory of change? What outcomes do you seek to transform and how do you assess this change? Lastly, how can you future-proof your business model for sustainability? So how do you intend to build a sustainable venture and position your program, solution, or product for scalability and growth? In your response, we encourage you to share potential barriers that you are anticipating. Ultimately, we desire to hear your thinking around growth and impact. So now let's transition to our second prompt and review another short essay question. Another thing we seek to understand is how does your venture's problem and solution align? The application question states, please provide an overview of your program, product, service, or solution, and tell us how it addresses the problem you've shared. So with these responses, we are looking for your venture to do the following. Describe your product, program, or service in detail. Here you should help us understand your actual intervention. What are the activities? Communicate how your solution addresses the specific needs or pain points that you mentioned in your description of the problem. Your problem will be spelled out in a preceding question in the application. Help us understand what is unique about your approach or delivery. What is your value proposition? How are you uniquely positioned to address those needs and pain points? Again, to summarize, we are looking for ventures to demonstrate a deep grasp of their problem space. Our experience shows that ventures who understand the problem as well as they seek the voice of their target audience when developing that solution are most deeply aligned for the fellowship program and its goals. Okay, let's visit one more question before we transition to working with our fellowship coaches. Let's talk about traction. Traction can mean many different things. For us, traction is just a simple way to express what momentum you've achieved to date. And you can talk about a number of things, right? Customers, uh, clients you serve, strategy, fundraising, or customer discovery in regards to your venture or the offering that you're applying to this application. If your venture or offering has been in existence for some time now, you might wanna brag on your success to date. The response should be pray, framed excuse me, in a way that helps us understand your venture's potential to grow and scale based on your past performance. Again, don't be afraid to use data here. You may write about, write about pilot projects that you've done, client growth, expansion efforts, or key partnerships. If you're a pre-prototype or pre-launch, we don't want you to get overwhelmed or worry about this question when preparing your response. In this instance, we seek to understand how you have tested or validated your assumptions thus far. Share with us how you know you're building something people want. Perhaps you've done some customer discovery or research work in terms of surveys, focus groups, or even wait lists. Simply put, just show us some form of validation. Okay, we've just went through a lot of information here, but let's put some of that knowledge to practice. So everyone now, our fellowship coaches will be joining us in breakout rooms to provide feedback and support. Fellowship coaches will be facilitating these spaces. Again, this will be an opportunity for a few of you to share out loud your thinking around these questions. Everyone is welcome to engage in the chat and you will be in breakout rooms of your choice. So just in a moment here, you're going to see three options come up for breakout rooms and those breakout room numbers are going to align with the questions that you see here on your screen. So in these breakout rooms, you'll have the opportunity to either share your response to the questions that we've mentioned or even ask questions. You can use the chat again, or you can share out loud. We will invite your peers as well to share some feedback. And then of course, some uh, feedback from our coaches. So please take a look at this table, which is shown here on your screen. Think about which question you would like to delve a little deeper into and then go into a breakout room with one of our promised coaches. So now we're going to begin setting up the options for you to join your breakout rooms. Fellowship coaches, you can proceed to join your rooms. And everyone should now be seeing an option to join the room of their choice. So you have room one, which is for social impact at scale. You have room two, which is for the problem. And so Welcome back, Katie. Hope your breakout room was, uh, was a good one.
Oh, you're on mute. Sorry. <laughs> I said, Melissa just started a sentence and then I got brought back here. Oh, sorry. I don't know. Um, it Should I still be in that breakout room? It's clowning down. It's at 20 seconds now. So God, it totally <laughs> sent me away. <laughs> Didn't give you the benefit of the last 60 seconds. <laughs> Maybe I went to close the screen and I sent the send me back button. Who knows? No worries. No worries. You would think after two and a half years, we would be so Zoom proficient. We would never try to talk when mute was on or. <laughs> Zoom, I tell you, it's, it's quite the huh. adjustment. It is. I've been working from home for four years, so it shouldn't have been as big an adjustment, but it is. <laughs> so. Well, thank you for your patience and welcome back everyone. Welcome back. I see we still have some folks uh, lingering in the breakout rooms. I will just say to breakout room one, I'm sorry, we just got cut off in the middle of our, our, our feedback for Isabel and Book Harvest, but just wanted to say thank you to everyone to, for participating. And Isabel, your, your response that you put in the chat, I think was just really well formulated and, and easy to understand as a reviewer. So that structure is one um, that worked really well. And happy to follow up with other folks offline. I know we didn't quite get the time to, to get to all the questions, but um, I know Demetra will go over this as well. We are all here on the Promise team to, to support you all as you put together your applications. Yes, that's a great place to start, Awar. Thank you for mentioning that. So please rest assured, if you did not get your question answered, there's still an opportunity to engage with the Promise team. We are hosting office hours. Um, and I'm going to ask a member of the Promise team to drop the link to that. So that is an opportunity for you to schedule some one-on-one -on -one time with us to dig a little bit deeper into these questions you may have about the application. But as we get ready to close, I actually want to take you all through the evaluation criteria to help you understand what we're actually assessing when we're reviewing your application. So before we wrap, let's touch on that. So we evaluate ventures in two phases. So there's two parts to this. There's an assessment of the venture's baseline qualifications for the program, number one. And then secondly, we assess the venture's alignment with the goals and capabilities of the program. All right, let's dive into that first component. For the baseline evaluation, um, reviewers will review the following components. You can kind of see the headlines here on your screen, but first and foremost, their solution. Right, so we wanna understand the strength of the relationship between the venture's solution and problem. Secondly, we assess mission alignment, the venture's ability to align with Promise's mission and vision, as well as its commitment to innovation, social impact, racial equity, scale, and sustainability. Uh, thirdly, we will look at your justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion focus. So this is the abilities venture to participate in the fellowship in alignment with Promise's JEDI goals, as we call it, and intentions. And so this is demonstrated by your internal and external work to promote equity. Another component is team. We will assess the strength of the application team with regard to the team's experience and execution potential. Lastly, as a part of this first phase of evaluation, we will assess the venture's rationale for applying to the fellowship as it relates to your internal capab capabilities as well as those of the Promise team and what we offer in terms of knowledge, expertise, and connections. So let's talk about that second phase, that second component of the evaluation process. First, we'll look at your business and market potential. So that's the viability, sustainability, and scale potential of the venture's business model in its given market, okay? Secondly, we'll look at impact. Here, we're looking for clarity of the impact model, your level of efficiency and effectiveness in your intervention delivery, as well as your ability to reach children and the families who need the support the most. Next, we look at acceleration potential, all right? This is the venture's potential to accelerate at a rate of progress towards the ultimate goal of scaled impact. And then we look at innovation. This is an assessment of how inherently innovative components of the venture's model is. And so the last component that we evaluate as a part of the second phase is cohort contribution. This is the prospective fellow's potential to contribute in a shared learning environment with its peers. So we'll also take into account, in addition to these two components, what we learn about each venture's commitment level and its capacity to be an exemplar in its equity as impact category. Um, if you have a little bit more questions around that, you can visit the fellowship page for a list of those equity as impact categories, and they're also listed in the application. Additionally, we'll also look at that same set of values around commitment and capacity as it relates to your fellowship track. 
So I hope this was a helpful overview of what we're going to be looking for. Now here's a timeline so you can see what the remainder of this process is going to look like. So throughout the remainder of July, again, we are going to be hosting office hours. Those are one-to-one -one, uh, sessions where we can add, answer any questions that you may have about your application. And this is a great opportunity to get help with that. And you can also find more about this and other ways that we can support on the fellowship webpage. So if you haven't been there, please visit. Also remember the application will close on August 5th at 11.59 p, uh, p.m. Eastern. Uh, we'll be spending the next several weeks after that date reviewing applications before we email our final decisions out on September 20th. So again, I know we've covered a lot of content in this session. We wanna pause here and just take a moment for your questions and uh, take the next five minutes or so to answer any questions that you have. You can drop them in the chat or you can come off mute. I have a question, which is if you were to um, really summarize the biggest highlights of being a Promise Venture Fellow, what is what are they? Awesome. I'm going to call on Laura. Would you feel comfortable giving some of those big major highlights that you've seen from folks participating in the fellowship? Absolutely. Um, Isabel, I think that's a great question. I think that um, ventures often come to the fellowship because they're seeing that they are making progress. They're they're seeing increased traction. Shout out to the folks who were in our traction breakout room uh, that they are making moves um, to achieve their goals, but they need additional support and connections to really get uh, go the distance uh, and realize their ventures potential. Through the fellowship, I think we do a lot. We do a lot to help you lay the groundwork so that you can realize that potential in a supportive environment, um, an environment in which you have access to world-class coaching, um, a peer network um, of folks who are kind of going through the same thing that you're going through at the same time, access to program alumni who have seen their uh, own ventures progress accelerate over time as a result of participating in the fellowship, and you get the benefit of having access to the broader network that we support. So I, I think that, um, I th you can only go so far alone, uh, but per by participating in the fellowship, um, I, I think you'll see that you'll you'll reach um, you know greater outcomes a little bit faster and with a lot of support. Awesome! Thank you so much, Laura. Thank you. And if I can just add um, to what Laura shared, I, I also think the fellowship is just an opportunity to set really specific goals. Like it, it's a, you'll we'll go through this process where you'll be sharing a lot about your organization with Promise and with the support of your coach, we will help you develop goals that kind of make sense in the broader context of what your organization is working on. And of course, you could kind of work on these goals on your own, on your own, own time, but in the fellowship, you'll have the structure of you have coaches, you have coaching sessions, we will hold you accountable, we will help make connections that are going to help you with the with the goals that you're setting. So it's like, it's signing up for a dedicated sprint to work on something specific in your organization as well. And I know lots of folks find that useful on top of all the other things Laura shared, including connections and being in a peer network and some of the leadership development work that we do as well. Thank you. I love that, Laura. Any other questions from our audience? Awesome. All right. So we're going to get ready to close out if we don't have anything else. All right. So for our next steps as we close out, we'd love to know what you thought of this event. So uh, we're going to drop a post event feedback survey link here in the chat. Uh, we'd love for you to, to take a look at that. You can access it here by going to the bit.ly link, uh, which is shown here on the screen, or you can use the QR code. It'll take you there to that feedback survey. We would love to get your feedback on today's session. And then we also look forward to closing out and sending you more communication on some additional tips that you can apply. So thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. This was great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This was thank great. You. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank Thanks. you.